Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about a lab test called complement. Use of the test to determine whether complement system proteins are contributing to increase infection frequency or autoimmune disease. To monitor the activity of a certain autoimmune diseases. To help diagnose heredity and geoedema. When to get tested. When you have recurrent infections, unexplained episodes of swelling, are symptoms related to certain autoimmune disorders. Periodically, to help monitor a known long-term disease such as systemic lupus that affect the complement, complement system. Complement test measures the quantity or activity of a complement protein in the blood. The complement system is composed of a set of a circulating blood proteins that work together to promote protective immunity. The principal role is to destroy bacteria and viruses. The nine main complement proteins are labeled as C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C6, C7, C8, C9. These proteins are assisted and regulated by several subcomponents, inhibitors and regulators. The complement system is part of the body's innate immune system. Complement activation may be achieved in three different ways. These are termed classical, alternative, or lectin pathways. However, the final product from all activation pathways is the same. The formation of the membrane attack complex. Complement activation causes several things to happen. The MSC binds to the surface of each microorganism or abnormal cell that has been targeted for destruction. It creates a hole and causes the cell to rupture by letting the content leak out like piercing a water-filled ballon. It increases the leakiness of a blood vessels, allowing infection-fighting white blood cells to move out of the bloodstream and into the tissue. It attracts WBC to the site of the infection. It stimulates white blood cells such as macrophages and neutrophil to kill, swallow and kill bacteria. It locks up the bacteria into cage-like structures that dissolve in the bloodstream, which are easily cleared. Complement protein both promote and regulate these activities. Inherited or acquired deficiencies or abnormalities in one or more of the complement component may adversely affect the integrity and function of the immune system. Deficiencies may rise because decreased production of or increased consumption of one or more complement proteins. These tests measure the quantity or the function of a complement protein in the blood. Complement component may be measured individually and together to determine whether the system is functioning normally. C3 and C4 are the most frequently measured complement protein. Total complement activity CH50 or CH100 and AP50 or AP100 can be measured if a doctor suspects a deficiency that is not measured by C3 or C4. CH50 or CH100 measures the function of the complete classical complement pathway and AP50-100 measures the function of the complete alternative complement pathway. If this measurement is significantly reduced, then each of the nine different complement level can be measured individually to look for hereditary or acquired deficiencies. In some rheumat rheumatologic disease, C1Q level or antibodies are measured. Patients with a history of a recurrent unexplained swelling may have C4 or C1 hysteres inhibitor measured. Sample required blood. Normal range depends on lab and methodology.